Right guys, so I thought I'd do um, a separate video just for um, my exercises and what I've had to do um, in between like icing and then getting up and, and putting my brace back on. So um, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I have to do. Um, obviously it's not much at the moment because um, the bits that have been fixed still need time to kind of heal properly. and. Um, but it's really important that I get a bit of mobility back into my leg, um, especially for the next operation. I have to be able to um, fully extend my knee um, properly. So um, I'll just show you some of the stuff that I have to do. Yeah. So so first thing I have to do is you can see this blue theraband round my foot basically um when i did the injury um like i said yesterday i bruised the nerve and it's basically meant that i've lost power and a bit of sensation in my foot so i can't actually lift my left foot up towards me like so if you're looking at my right my right foot i can't actually do that with my left foot at the moment um and so the purpose of this is basically to make sure that my calf and my achilles don't get really tight um everything pretty much all the exercises i have to do i have to have this brace on um just to make sure that i'm not going to hyper extend extend my knee um other thing i've got to do is be able to extend my knee over and over again to try and strengthen that up like i said the brace won't let me go beyond extension into hyper extension so um i'm pretty safe doing this um and then the other thing I have to do is I have to get in and move my kneecap around. Now, there's quite a lot of fluid in my kneecap at the moment. So every now and then you can feel like a squelching and it feels and sounds disgusting. But um, again, really important to get the kneecap moving. It kind of relieves a bit of the pressure as well, actually. It feels quite nice moving my kneecap around. Um yeah, so this is part of part of what I've got to do. Um and then the other thing that I've got to do is basically just like glute exercises. So basically ensuring that kind of I don't let the rest of my body get weak. It's very easy to to kind of sit around and do nothing and not move around that much. Um but I've got stuff like a moving my my right leg is really important because I think when you lose function of one leg and you sat down a lot of the day you tend to almost like forget that you can use your other leg um, so uh, that's another really important thing for me and then glute exercises just to ensure that my glutes are strong it's going to take a bit of pressure off my hamstrings as well um, and one of my hamstrings was actually pulled off in the in the um, in the injury and has been kind of reattached so uh, the, there's one thing that I really can't do and that's um, bend my knee um, like using my own muscles I have to I have to get my my mum or or someone to help me basically I have to relax and they have to bend my knee for me um, <clears throat> it's quite interesting stuff really um, because it just shows how like the rest of the body reacts to, to these kind of injuries and um, the rest of my body feels pretty good I'm doing I'm doing these religiously like I said it's going to be a lot of work um, and treating these exercises as that work is kind of going to help me through this um, I'm not too worried because I know I'm going to get them done um, I've been doing them kind of four or five times a day already um, in between icing and then like I said earlier in the other video is um, kind of being up and around only five minutes a day so exercises actually give me something to do um, yeah so that's a that's basically a rundown of the exercises I've got to do like I said not much at the moment um, I'm actually going to a physio on Tuesday um, <coughs> round the <coughs> oh, sorry um, round the corner from us uh, and that will be where we start to organise how, how we take this rehab on a bit further and, and the different exercises we can do from that. Um, but 
as of yet, it's still a month um, with no weight bearing. So these exercises are really key for me to be, you know, fully functioning when I when I get back from my injury. Um, yeah. <clears throat> also, um, as far as you may have seen, um, this sock is not part of a sexy nurse's outfit. Um, this basically is there to prevent um, DVT or deep vein thrombosis. Um, and it provides like graduated compression so that, um, you know, I don't get um, DVT. I'm also on aspirin uh, with, to help kind of thin thin my blood when I go to sleep so that um, there's no risk of like, or there's a less risk of, of blood clots and stuff, which is something that's really, really important. So um, I know a different kind of video, but I just thought it might be a bit more kind of informative. Um, and like I said um, in, in my first video is I can also kind of track my progress a little bit with this. Um, you know, for for the next couple of videos when I'm filming this, I'm going to get someone else to film it for me, film me doing the exercises because then we can see like how I can see how far I'm getting and and how much my progress has changed, um, which is really important. You know, keeping this positive mental attitude is all is is going to be a lot easier if I can look back and think, okay, I've come from there and I've got a lot more movement now. Um, was kind of hoping that I'd have a bit more movement in my left foot by now and that the, the nerve would have healed a bit quicker but uh, maybe that was a bit ambitious I was told it's going to take a while so um, nerves are something that if they're messed with they, they can take a while to heal but um, yeah so those are the exercises and just a bit more of a rundown of, of exactly what I've got to do